there when they crucified my Lord, John. Yes, I was there. Jesus and I were close friends and I was there the whole time. At the Passover meal we sat next to each other and I received from him the bread and wine. This is my body, he said, and this is my blood. Beautiful words and I realised what they meant. I listened with disbelief and dismay when Jesus said one of us would betray him and when he said, Tonight you will all desert me. I just couldn't believe him. Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine till the kingdom of God shall come. We were his close followers. We loved him. We wouldn't desert him. When we came to the Garden of Gethsemane afterwards, Jesus chose me, along with Peter and my brother James, to go with him further into the garden where he prayed to God. I'm ashamed to say that I fell asleep, like the other two, not just once, three times. Jesus' words, couldn't you stay awake with me for one hour, have haunted me. It's as if they are burned into my heart. That thou doest. Were you there when they crucified my Lord, Peter? I was there, though there are some parts I'd like to forget, 
like my rash words. Maybe the others will desert you, Lord, but not me. I said that very confidently. And when Jesus turned to me and said, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. I was shocked and hurt. Why would he say a thing like that? This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the Garden of Gethsemane, I was all zeal and bravado. I felt like I could protect Jesus from the clubs and the swords of the crowd that showed up among the olive trees. I bravely shipped out my sword and cut off the ear of the priest's servant. It was stupid, an impulsive thing to do. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But it's my denial of Jesus that torments me. There at that courtyard fire, I couldn't even admit to the maid. Yes, I know Jesus, he's my friend. I'm his follower. Instead, I said, no, I don't know the man. Why couldn't I identify with him? Why couldn't I stand up for Jesus when he was facing the jeering crowds, the interrogation? Now I know how people feel when they wish they could go back and live some part of their lives over again. I wish I could have another chance, do it better. Now, whenever I hear a rooster crow, I think to myself, I couldn't have been more faithless, more cowardly. Dear God, today we think about all the things that are about to happen over Easter. We know that you already knew what was going to happen and that you did it all because you love us. We thank you for all the gifts you give to us, but most of all, we thank you for your gift of love. Amen. Dear God, it is hard for us to understand all the things you had to go through that first Easter time. We thank you that you did it all for us so that we can be forgiven for all the wrong things we have done. We love you. Amen. Were you there when they crucified my Lord, Judas? I was hoping you wouldn't ask. I was hoping that my betrayal would be something that you wouldn't want to hear about. No, I didn't see Jesus crucified. But I was there, eating at the Passover meal with Christ, after I had already agreed to betray him. I left the dinner early to join those with whom I was collaborating. Behold, the hour is at hand. And the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Together we came to the Garden of Gethsemane, me and the servant of the high priest and the elders, the police, a noisy mob with clubs and swords. The thirty silver coins the priests and the elders had given me to do, this was in my pocket and now was for me to deliver. And I did. I delivered Jesus into their hands. Whom seek ye? Jesus of Nazareth. We'd agreed that I'd identify him with a kiss. I'm not proud of that. Afterwards, those coins burned a tunnel in my soul. I knew it was blood money. I knew I had done a dastardly thing. But that's what cannot be undone. Betrayest thou the son of man with a kiss? Mark chapter 14, verses 12 to 25. It was now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when the Passover lamb was sacrificed. Jesus' followers said to him, 
Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover meal? Jesus sent two of his followers and said to them, Go into the city and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. When he goes into a house, tell the owner of the house. The teacher says, Where is my guest room in which I can eat the Passover meal with my followers? The owner will show you a large room upstairs that is furnished and ready. Prepare the food for us there. So the followers left and went into the city. Everything happened as Jesus had said, so they prepared the Passover meal. In the evening, Jesus went to that house with the twelve. While they were all eating, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, one of you will turn against me one of you eating with me now. The followers were very sad to hear this. Each one began to say to Jesus, I am not the one, am I? Jesus answered, It is one of the twelve, the one who dips his bread into the bowl with me. The Son of Man will die, just as the scriptures say. But how terrible it will be for the person who hands the Son of Man over to be killed. It would be better for him if he had never been born. While they were eating, Jesus took some bread and thanked God for it and broke it. Then he gave it to his followers and said, Take it, this is my body. Then Jesus took a cup and thanked God for it and gave it to the followers. And they all drank from the cup. Then Jesus said, This is my blood which is the new agreement that God makes with his people. This blood is poured out for many. I tell you the truth, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine again until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow. 